back to Humble Homemaking. My name is Chelsea and I am a homemaker. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. I talk about all things homemaking, parenting, faith, and femininity. So if that's your thing, then hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss my next videos. Today's video is all about practicing the art of distraction when it comes to toddlers. So toddlers, if you have not watched my video on there is no such thing as terrible twos i suggest you go and do that before or after the video so here's the scenario your child is having a meltdown and you have two choices you can either raise your voice and scream at them which raising your voice is just not ladylike it's necessary sometimes to raise your voice to get their attention if they're about to do something dangerous it is necessary to say no when they're about to do something dangerous or you can use the distraction tactics that you have put in place in advance, which I'm going to take the latter of the two. I don't like to raise my voice. It's unladylike, gets me heated, frustrates me, stresses me out. It's necessary sometimes, but overall it's, it's, it's pointless. Distraction in the parenting realm is just another word for the term redirection. For example, Atlas trying to mess with the outlet covers. I have to tell him, no, don't do that. That's dangerous but I can't just leave it at that. I have to redirect him. For every no that I tell him, I have to give him a yes, this is what you can do. No, you can't play with the outlet plug. Yes, you can play with your trucks. No, you can't pull the dog's tail. Yes, you can pet them on the head and be nice to them. No, you cannot dunk your trucks into the milk. Yes, you can drive your trucks across the kitchen table. You picking up what I'm putting down, you have to tell them what they can do instead of just telling them what they can't do. You can't do this. They don't get it. They're gonna go back to it. They're probably gonna go back to it a few times when you redirect them, but they're going to eventually get it. It's going to click that, okay, I can do this instead. So here is what we do that works almost every single time. And I say almost because it doesn't work all the time, but it works almost every single time. So I present to you the board jar the board jar yes the board jar so what is a board jar in this little jar is a bunch of folded up pieces of paper that are age appropriate activities and things that he can do so that if he is doing something that he's not supposed to and he doesn't want to play with the things that i've been giving him he doesn't want to do any of the activities that i've been trying to do with him i go to this handy dandy board jar and i go in here and shake it up and I let him pick one. You wanna pick one? Grab two. Okay, well that's okay. This is for example. So, so this one says, build a fort inside. The random fun little activity that I have to get involved with with him as well, which creates more bonding experiences and bonding time with us. So we build a fort inside. So we're gonna go and grab blankets and sheets and we're gonna put it over. We're gonna use the messy living room with the boxes for moving to our advantage and we're gonna go and build a fort. Then you just toss it back in the jar or put it aside, shake it up again, pull out another one, and nature scavenger hunt. So maybe create things that your child has to find outside. So if I were to go to a piece of paper and write down to find a pine cone and find a leaf and find a rock, that's age appropriate for a two year old, or maybe find something yellow he has to go outside and find all those things and I obviously have to go outside with him. So not only is this keeping your child busy, but this is also creating things that you can do with your child, which is so important. So depending on however old your child is, you wanna do things that are age appropriate for them. This is something that we do all the time, which he's not really a big fan of when we pull it out from the jar. This is playing with the flashcards that we have. This is kind of more uh, activity that we do at night with him. And then another one is make a gift for somebody. So maybe we'd sit down and paint a card or draw or color a picture and mail it to one of our family members. Another one, I'll just pull out this last one. Um, play in the sprinkler, which it's really cold outside, so that would be a no-no. So we'd put that aside and pull another one. But you get the point. This is full of a ton of things. We go and find bugs. We go and lift up rocks and see what kind of bugs we find. Um, reading a book, cleaning something up, painting pro a project, uh, all sorts of things. There's all sorts of little activities in here. And there's about, 
I want to say there's about 70 little folded up pieces of paper in here. But you can go on the internet and you can find a ton of the activities to do that are age appropriate for your child. You don't have children yet and you're like, wow, that looks like a lot of fun. I kind of want a board jar. Make one for yourself. Maybe make it like your board jar, self-care jar. Maybe you put a bunch of things in here that include things like adult activities such as maybe gardening something or maybe cleaning out that junk drawer or doing your nails or things like that or doing your hair or trying out a new hairstyle. You could even turn this into a hairstyle jar which is another thing that I have in my room which is just full of different hairstyles where I'm like I don't know how I want to do my hair today. I want to do it different but I just don't know how. I can just go to my little hairstyle jar and pull out a random hairstyle and be like, all right, I'm doing space buns today, or okay, I'm doing a French twist today. It's lots of fun. So this isn't just a child thing, but it is really good for toddlers and school-aged children. So do this, especially in this time where we are all quarantined or self-quarantined at home, Sit down and do this because this is going to really create a lot of bonding experiences with your child, a lot of learning experiences with your child, and just, it's a lot of fun, okay? So I just decorated one side like this, just so he knows what it is, it's the board jar. And you can have them decorate it. You can decorate, have them decorate a piece of paper, tape it around there, and do it. So if you end up doing one, please tag me on Instagram and show me that you made one. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I really do hope that you give this a shot. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Come wave. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.